In this video we compared two all new LG phones that are in the same price range. Uh, the first one is the uh, LG Power and the next one is the LG Destiny. And the reason why we're comparing these two phones is because uh, they are for the most part identical uh, in every single aspect except one which I'll point out here in a minute. Um, now the LG Power is a CDMA phone so that one will be activated by Verizon as you can see it does not say 4G uh, the LG Destiny is a, C a GSM phone sorry and that one will be activated with AT&T and it does say 4G but don't mistake that for 4G LTE because this is not an LTE phone this is what's called enhanced 3G um, to be honest I can't really tell much of a difference and in, in data download performance um, between the two so I think for the most part um, even though this says 4G the, the Destiny does the, um, the data speeds are going to be pretty much the same on, on either phone now the specs as I said are identical so there you have them side by side both are four and a half inch screen both are Android 5.0 lollipop phones uh, 1.2 gig quad core processor one says 3G, the other one says 4G, but like I said, that's for the most part is the same. Uh, and they both have 5 megapixel camera with front facing camera and, a, and an LED flash. Now, when you put these phones side by side, there really is no way to tell the difference between them. Uh, so here they are, here they are. So the only way I'd be able to tell the difference if I kind of were to do the shell game, which now I just by doing that, I don't know which one's which. But if I were to um, need to be able to tell the difference, the only way I'd be able to do that would be by taking the battery cover off and looking at the, uh, the model number. So as you can see on the back, both have identical designs. The front, the front of the phone are also identical. Um, and as I said, both are Android 5.0, so you have the new icon um, or the new buttons, if you will. Both phones have that floating uh, button design, so there are no real buttons down here that are kind of floating within the screen. And then another cool thing about both of these phones is the fact that they have the power and volume buttons on the back. I don't know that, that I wouldn't say that it's particularly cool because some people may not like it but it is pretty interesting and I always like new and interesting phones and I think this these two fall under that category so these phones don't have um, don't have the uh, traditional buttons on the side the two buttons are on the back now the headphone jack and the uh, charge port are in the typical spots now as far as the Android stuff goes both have identical things. Um, the one thing that I will mention though, and I'm double checking, no it does. Uh, I was going to say one has the radio, the other one does not. But they both have ra the radio. So basically both have the identical uh, apps already pre-installed on them. Uh, both phones have excellent screens, so both are very easy to watch videos with in fact they have excellent uh, video quality I would say and um, if you're a little more interested in one or the other I have reviews on each one of these phones uh, as I said they are identical by pretty much every every spec other than the uh, coverage area so I think that about wraps up this video um, if you're interested in these phones I would just basically say to pick whichever one matches your coverage area the best. So if you have better Verizon coverage area, then I would go with the uh, LG Power. Or if you have better AT&T coverage, then I would definitely go with the uh, LG Destiny.